Um, <laughs> but now it's blue turd. <laughs> What is happening guys? How's it going? Well wait, that's video. Now I decided I seen this. Where did I see this? Nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I seen a thing on the internet and it was how Scottish people pronounce certain words and I thought, hmm, give me an idea for a video. So I've actually got loads of different words here that Scottish people say differently. I'm actually gonna put a picture up on the screen as well so you can see. And this is how to speak Scottish. <laughs> Alright guys. So here we go, how to speak Scottish. We'll just get straight into it. I've got my laptop here, and it's got a list of all the words on it that I'm going to be reading out. Alright, so the first word I'm going to say is I. <laughs> Alright, a lot of people think it's pronounced A, but it's not as I, and it means no. Pronounced I, as in your eyeball, and it means yes. So, for example, if somebody says, do what I can just about I. I wouldn't say yes, I'd say I. <laughs> Alright, next one we're going on to is Bampot. Now, if you're from Scotland, you typically know what Bampot means, right? Bampot means idiot. Alright, it means you are a pure Bampot. It just means you're an absolute nut job. <laughs> nut job is another one for you, that means idiot as well. I'm just Scottish, guys, Scottish. Alright, then we have baby. Now, a lot of people might not know what baby means. Baby means alcohol, like a drink. Um, pronounced bev e. That's a baby. <laughs> uh, Scottish words, guys, Scottish words. What can you do? Now, then we have Bluttered. <laughs> ah, Bluttered. Bluttered means you're very drunk. Um, <laughs> but now it's Bluttered. <laughs> you're Bluttered. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, man. Then we have Boggin. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at these. I said them all the time. It means it's something filthy or disgusting. Bog in, so like you can say, Oh, she's pure bog in, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this, I should not have thought of this. I'm just gonna laugh at things. Bonnie. Now, I've not really said this one, alright, but this is, um, people usually call Scotland the Bonnie Scotland, alright? It does mean nice and pretty. But I've not really personally used this one quite a lot. Um, cool. <laughs> right, that means cow. He goes, oh look at that coo. Yeah. Next one we have is crabbit. Crabbit means you're grumpy. He goes, what have you been for a crabbit for? Oh look at you, you're a crabbit bastard. <laughs> Something stupid like that. Doer. Now, doer could mean a lot of different things. You can also somebody's doer faced, which means they're really, like, pure. <laughs> Clum and just never smiles. Like, they never smile. If you're doer faced, they're just like. <laughs> Drift. Uh, when you're drift. Oh, you're pure drift. That's pure drift, man. It means you're really thirsty. Right, that's what that means. Pure, pure drift. That's what you'd say if you like, really, really need a drink. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. I've used that quite a few times. Like, oh, you're a pure idiot, man. Like, something like that. It just means you're an idiot as well. That's also another name for idiot. 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 I'm a pure idiot. Fusty. <laughs> now, you could use this. It, may, it can mean mouldy, but it can also mean that it's a pure fusty smell. Means that a pure nasty smell going about. Ah, oh, it's pure fusty. You can like it. Some of pure glake it. It means I need it as well, but it can also mean very tall. Oh, look at you, you glake it, but no, glake it. Just means very tall as well. Greeting. Why stop greeting? You know, man up and stop greeting and crying. Ah, <laughs> oh, gub. Gub means tired. Uh, you get no. Uh, it can mean you can go, oh, I'm pure gub. But it can always mean tired, but it can mean you've just been beaten or something. I mean, for example, the picture here is football, I think, or rugby. Um, well, I don't watch it, so I don't know. But it can just mean you've just been beaten. Ah, oh, pure gubbies. Or, oh, I'm so gubbed. No, it can mean they're two different things. Gutties. Gutties means shoes. It doesn't tend. It says here plimsolls, but gutties can just mean any type of shoe, really. You know, oh, look at that pair of gutties. You know, it just, it can mean really any type of shoes. Hoaching. Right. <laughs> Poaching can mean do different things. Poaching can mean somewhere's really busy or crowded. Alright. Poaching can also mean manky. Or like, oh you're pure she's pure poaching or he's pure poaching or something like that. Yeah. Keek. Keek means bug tap. Oh you get pure keek done. <laughs> oh, keek. <laughs> no way. Ken. Ken that I mean. 
a lot of people say Ken is like, do Ken or do Ken what I mean? It just means do you know? Oh no. Do you Ken this person or do instead of saying do you know this person, it's like, do you Ken this person? Do you Ken what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you Ken what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh Mankey. Mankey's another one. Oh that's a disgusting picture guys. Um Mankey's another one for filthy. Alright. Dirty. Bad. Yeah. Yuck. Messages. Messages doesn't mean text messages anymore. You know, messages means like the stuff you go back to shop, like your groceries. That's an American word, obviously, but come on, way you get the messages. Like, Minging is another one for disgusting. Like, the guy, these pictures are you rank, aren't they? The rank there, oh. Doesn't mean you get ranked up, but rank means bad. <laughs> Stooky. Yeah, Stooky's another name for a plaster. Or like that plaster cast on your arm or your leg or whatever. It's just another name for it. We call it a Stooky, but I don't know why. A Ouija. We are people from Glasgow. That's what we are, apparently. We get called Ouija's, I have no idea why, but there you go. Wished. Wished. Me sure. Shh. Very wished. Uh, yeah. So guys, that was uh, my video on things Scottish people say that other people don't say. Alright. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. This was just um to see how I don't know, how you speak Scottish, I think. Yeah. This video is how you speak Scottish. And I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up in this video if you enjoyed it and if you learned how to speak some Scottish. Um I want you to pick in the comments, I want you to get one of these words, your favourite word, and use it in a sentence and post that sentence down in the comments and I want to see the best one. The best one I can find will feature in my next video. I'll read it out and, you know, for the next video, I might even try and, like, make a story out of it if I find the best one. If that makes sense. Like, for Wished, like, yeah, I was at a park garden, there was these couple of dogs barking, so I tell them what they wished. Something like that. If I think it's good, and then I'll try and make a story out of it, or I'll, I don't know, I'll find something. I might not do a story, I'll see something. But if you do that, pick your favourite one, make a comment, and the winner, the best one, I'll do something with it in a video, alright? So you guys are awesome, thanks very much for watching, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so for more content. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>